Mr. Speaker, I have been very clear that I am, Mr. Speaker, that I am sorry and that I have made mistakes. But the right thing to do in those circumstances is to make changes, which I've made, and to get on with the job and deliver for the British people. A book is being written about the Prime Minister's time in office. <laughs> Apparently, it's going to be out by Christmas. Is that the release date or the title? Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, Mr Speaker, I have been in office for just under two months, and I have delivered the energy price guarantee. I've got the list here. 45p tax cut, gone. Corporation tax cut, gone. 20p tax cut, gone. Two-year energy freeze, gone. Tax-free shopping, gone. Economic credibility, gone. And her supposed best friend, the former Chancellor, he's gone as well. They're all gone. So why is she still here? Mr Speaker, I am a fighter and not a quitter. I have acted in the national interest to make sure that we have economic stability. Mr Speaker, last week the Prime Minister stood there and promised absolutely no spending reductions. They all cheered. This week, the Chancellor announced a new wave of cuts. What's the point of a Prime Minister whose promises don't even last a week? Prime Minister. Well, I can assure the Right Honourable Gentleman that spending will go up next year and it will go up the year after. But of course, we need to get value for taxpayers' money. It's great to see you here. Thank you for watching our work. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click the bell icon and subscribe to Mojo Story and support independent, robust journalism.